Using drawing from OpenOffice 3.3, I am going to go ahead and create a very simple logo. I have open OpenOffice. Now I'm going to click on drawing, which will go ahead and launch the draw application or the draw module. Next, I am going to go to the draw toolbar, which is here at the bottom, and I'm going to select the sun. I'm going to click and hold and drag towards the right hand side and then let go. You will need to make a duplicate. Right click, select copy, click anywhere else on the canvas, right click and paste. This will go ahead and put the shape on top of the original shape. What you need to do is click on the shape that you see and then drag away. That will go ahead and reveal the copy. Right click on the copy and then go to convert curve. It would allow you to ungroup it by right clicking, ungroup, and now you can select individual parts by clicking on them like the circle and then hit delete. We want to go ahead and select all the other triangles except this one. To select more than one shape, click outside and lasso the shapes, then delete. And again, individually you can click on each shape and hit delete. Next, you need to move this shape. You can either hold the arrows on your keyboard and then press the arrow going to the left and then we'll go ahead and move the shape to the left. Or you can zoom in and you can pick up the object and then move it to where you want. Next, we want to go ahead and add some color. Let's select all the objects by the same technique I show you just a little bit ago. Click and hold so that you can select all the objects as shown. Next go to the stroke that's the border and from black we're going to choose actually orange too. Then for the fill color or the area filling we're going to click instead of blue 8 and choose orange too. So now the border and the fill are the same. Now we need to group them so they come over as one object into the right module in OpenOffice. Right click and then choose group. This will go ahead and treat them all as a group. On the next movie I will show you how to incorporate this into our thank you letter into the header and we're gonna add some text in an extra line. Before I incorporate this logo I need to go ahead and save it. I already saved this as an ODG format. Uh, it's just simply a matter of going file and save and then Except in the default, but I need to go ahead and export it as a general format so I can incorporate it into the right uh, module. So to do that, I'm going to export from the file menu. I'm still in draw and then choose down here a format that I will be using for print. Since it's a vectorized graphic, I'm going to use PNG and save. Oh, no compress. I'm just going to go ahead and have the compression be the default and click OK. Since I am going to about to close this module or this program, if you want to think about it that way, I'm going to, before I do that, copy it by right clicking and selecting copy. Because when I close this module, the drawing module, it will save a copy on the temporary staging area, or sometimes people like to refer to it as the pasteboard. Now I'm going to open my text document. Now I'm using the writer module. It doesn't give me a header as a default, so I need to go ahead and insert a header by going to the insert menu and choosing header and pressing on default. I want some room there, so I'm gonna hit the return key three times. Remember when I copy? If I simply right click in the header area, I put my cursor in the first line just by pressing the arrows going upwards and say paste, then I will go ahead and get a copy of what I had copied on the earlier module. To resize, simply hold the shift key and then move the lower right hand corner inward. This keeps the shape proportional. Next, we're going to go ahead and add some text and other embellishments. But before I do that, let me show you how you would bring it in if you had decided to do a drawing and you bring in a, a JPEG or, or an EPS or a TIFF or a PNG, just click here on the first line again. I move my paste away and I'm going to go to the insert menu and choose picture from file 
and then I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the folder that I have on my desktop which I created earlier and call OO assets and I see my logo there now I can click the logo and select open and what it's going to do is going to go ahead and bring over this big graphic which I can go ahead and crop and resize and place wherever I need it to be okay I'm going to go ahead and I stick with my copy and paste example that I had going on it's just because it was easier to bring it that way next I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you add text okay let's look at the drawing toolbar if you don't see your tool drawing toolbar down here it's just a matter of going to the view menu selecting toolbars and turning on drawing so view toolbars drawing once you're there you're gonna see this button this button allows you to do text boxes click on the letter T which is a button and then draw a box in which you're gonna go ahead and type let me go ahead and do some typing I'm gonna create another box and do some more typing and then we'll format it together okay I just created three boxes this one holds this part this one holds the other part and this one holds the last part that we're going to be using and select the box that has the SEC double click and highlight the text that will go ahead and allow me to pick a different font and also a different size so I'm going to go ahead and make it pretty big but not too big so that it escapes the box so this is the font I'm using and 32 will do then I'm going to click away from it which will allow me to click back on it and move it so if I click away and then I click once it gives me this little move tool that I can go ahead and move and locate now that on top of my son so move this box right underneath here and I am going to go ahead and decrease the size or the change the font and maybe change the color so I'm gonna go ahead and again double click on the box select my text and I'm gonna choose a font that I might want to use I'm gonna increase it just a wee after moving it in position and changing the font I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this text box this text box is going to go up here and I'm going to change a little bit the size to be smaller than what it is right now so I want to go ahead and double click on the text box select my text and then bring it down to maybe 10 and also I'm going to change the font and I'm going to select a different font for this and uh, I'll just be Arial I'm also going to align it to the right because I want it to be farther away from this block and, I'm gonna re and then I'm going to click on the block and resize it a little bit okay the next thing is to go ahead and make a little line that would allow us to go ahead and uh, do a little bit better arrangement for this so I'm going to just move it just so that it touches the edge and right here okay almost there and what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and move this a little bit higher and I'm going to use my mouse because that gives me a little bit better control then move this text up here and then move the Sun a little bit upwards okay there we go now I'm going to draw a line again using a drawing toolbar I'm going to click on line and I'm going to go ahead and draw a line that goes from here straight across to here now if I want to keep it straight I can hold the shift key and it'll keep it straight for me so I'm going to do this again while I hold the shift key we're done with our header so I'm going to go ahead and save what I got I'm going to go to file save as and I'm going to go ahead and save it on my assets folder and this is going to be my letter okay next I'm going to show you how to prepare the text for the mail merge for your thank you letter next using the mail merge wizard we're going to go ahead and mail merge this writer document into a spreadsheet now I do it that way because it's easier to go ahead and work with a spreadsheet than it is to work with a window that allows you to make every entry so if you already have the names of people and a spreadsheet then you can reuse that if you don't have anything you can start from scratch by going to the tools mail merge wizard 
and where it says the insert address block, press the create button and then enter all the information there. But most of you already have a sheet that you can use with all the entries. So we're going to go ahead and do it that way. To create a new spreadsheet, go to File, New, Spreadsheet. This will go ahead and launch a spreadsheet that is similar to other spreadsheet programs. And the important part about this is that you should have headings on the first row and then the information directly below. I'm going to go ahead and show you an example. So this set of data looks like what we need. We have a donations field and we have first name, last name, and an address information for each individual record. We have 16 records in total and we will be merging this document. Okay, so to save, just go to File, Save. And you want to go ahead and save it inside the same OO Assets folder you created. Essentially, the logo, the letter, the data, the donor's data should be all together so that you can go ahead and have easy access and not have to look for all the files everywhere. So go ahead and save it. I'm going to call this Donors2 and save. Now I can close it. Bring that information here via the mail merge wizard. But before I do that, let me go ahead and change this date to be a date that changes automatically whenever I open the document. Do that, I'm going to go ahead and insert a field. So go to insert fields, then select date. And it'll automatically change it, but you need to change its formatting. To change its formatting, double click on it. I want the month being spelled out, so I'm going to go ahead and select December 31st, 1999, because that's an example. Double click, and now we'll write out the month, the day, and the year. Okay, ready for the mail merge? We're going to go to Tools, select Mail Merge Wizard. We're going to select Starting Document. This is the current document we're using, so use the current document. It's fine. Press Next. It is a letter. Now I need to go ahead and select uh, an address list. I'm going to click Add, and I'm going to select Donors2, which is the document we just saved. We press Open. Click OK. And right now I have these showing, but if you click more, you'll note that there's other variations of the block that you want to use. To edit the block, you click on the block that you want to edit, and then press edit. And in here, you would go ahead and select the field names that you want to use. Then press OK. You have to match the fields. Click on the Match Fields button. I don't have a title, but I do have a first name. It just doesn't have a space between first name, first and name. Same for last name. I don't have a company, but for address line, we're going to go ahead and select address. Scroll down. CD matches because it has the same name, so the state. And zip code. It needs to be matched. So now that I have them all matched, then you should see the address block preview here at the bottom. Click OK. All right, let's press next. And here is going to want to write out a salutation for you. I can go ahead and indicate which one's female and which one's male because I do have a column that allows me to go ahead and look at whether it's a female or a male. So if we look at the data, I have a gender column this is female or male and I want to go ahead and select if it's a female dear Morse if it's a male dear mister and then the last name I have here something that reads address list field indicating a female recipient the field name is gender as you guys could see on the spreadsheet now what value is it well if the value is female then obviously this is going to be the female so let's go ahead and type that in. If it doesn't say female and it says something else, then it will do the Mr. Okay, so right here you can see that the first entry is Mr. Ramses. The second one is Mrs. Ramses. So that's working. All right, let's press next. Press next. That's fine. Now what we can do here is we can edit the document a little bit and then click edit document. 
this will allow me to do one edit for everything so you know how I was going to do one by one well this one allows me to again resize this move the block where I want it to be get rid of this line right here bring it closer to there if it's dear Mr. or Mrs. or to whom I concern it will stay there I don't need this line anymore alright so let's deal with the mount highlight the mount go to insert fields other go to the mail merge fields you see this little plus symbol click on it which will allow you to display all the headings on your spreadsheet select donation then click insert now you can close this window and you'll see the word donation here which is actually a field if I wanted to double click on it and go back to it it will definitely show me this right okay click OK now click return to mail merge wizard then go next now it's going to generate the document that has the amounts that has the block of addresses of the appropriate block and then add the salutation alright the next thing is just to press next and then you have an option here of how you want to go ahead and save this you want to save starting document save the merge document print the merge document or send the merge documents as an email I'm going to go ahead and save the starting document and then I'm going to go ahead and click save merge document and save as a single document and press finish okay so the document has been created so I am going to go ahead and at this point create PDFs out of these documents I'm gonna go to file and I can go ahead and select export as PDF and I can go ahead and do all the pages or just click all then export and then name these letters again I am going to go to my desktop and select my OO assets and save it in there when it's done it will look like this okay so here's the PDF and it's 16 pages and they all fit nice and neat that's how you conduct a mail merge